been dreaming all night bringing me some inspiration Hey guys, what's up? It's Melanie. Today we're gonna to do a video on basic blending. This is the way I blend paint. There's always different ways to do it. I use the same technique every time, although I will put my colors in different places. Let's go ahead and get started on this old vanity. Okay, so looking at the top of this vanity here, we can see that the varnish is chipping off from the old finish. So I'm gonna go ahead and sand that down, see if I can get that old varnish off and nice and smooth. You see that I got it off there, but this wood is looking so pretty, I'm gonna go ahead and take it all the way down. I am pretty darn certain this guy's gonna have some bleed through. So let's go ahead and block that bleed through with DIY's Salvation Solution in white. all right let's get ready to blend today we're going to use mint chip we're going to use weathered wood and mermaid tail i'm also using my wonderful wise owl one and a half inch round brush this is quickly becoming one of my favorite brushes for blending let's go ahead and get a base coat of mint chip on there All right, I'm gonna dip into my mermaid tail and you can see that I hardly have anything on there. I'm gonna use the same brush for this entire process. A lot of people ask, does the paint need to be wet? Well, you can wait for it to dry with DIY. It doesn't really matter because as you can see, I have my magic misting bottle in my left hand. I'm gonna give it a little spritz here and there, which is gonna reactivate my paint and allow those colors to blend together. So it doesn't really matter. You can wait for it to dry, or you can do it all when it's wet, either way. So during this entire process, I'm just gonna keep kind of feathering it out. I wanna get small amounts of paint on my brush so I don't have to undo anything that I did. Sometimes I get too much, that's okay. You can just go back in with your base color or your other color and just keep blending. Use a very light stroke and just keep fanning it out in order to get a nice, smooth, smooth finish. As that paint starts to dry, you just wanna give it a little spritz with your misting bottle. Then you can add more color to it. Keep those paints wet so that you're working with them and they're not dragging on you. And you can just keep adding as you go to get the look that you like. glory of blended pieces they don't have to be exactly the same they don't have to be super matchy matchy you're using all the same colors so they're all gonna flow through as you can see right there I got way too much weathered wood so I'm gonna go ahead and fix that by going back in with my mint chip and starting again Did the entire piece with the same technique. I like all my pieces to be super smooth, so I always go back with some fine sanding paper. All right, let's stain the top of these with DIY's dark wax. It's a really easy way to stain raw wood, and it comes out with a beautiful finish. 
gonna give that wax some time to absorb in. And while we're waiting for that, we're gonna go ahead and seal the rest of it with one hour enamels clear. This is a super, super durable finish. And vanities get makeup on them, all kinds of stuff. So that's really important for this type of piece. I waited about an hour for that dark wax to dry and really absorb. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe back the excess. After that, I'm gonna add some clear wax to it. This is just gonna give it another layer of durability and a little bit more shine when I buff it up. All right, so I wanted a little bit more, so I'm gonna take Wise Owl's whitewash glaze. I'm gonna mix in some mermaid tail and make my own color of glaze. You can see, you just apply it and then you take a damp cloth and you wipe back the excess. Looking at that, I like it, but I don't love it. <laughs> Gotta love it. Let's go back in with DIY's black wax and give it a little bit more dimension and darken up these fronts just a bit. They're a little bit too um, bright for my taste. Waxing is similar to glazing in this aspect, that you just put it into those deep places and then when you wipe it back, it goes off the high spaces and stays in the recessed areas. All right guys, so there you go. That is how I blend paint. Tell me how you do it in the comments below. Tell me what you think of this vanity. I think it turned out pretty. Hopefully somebody will love it and take it home with them. Thank you guys for watching. You guys are awesome. Don't forget, you can find all these products on my website at Windmill Vintage Designs. You can find this in my store in Albuquerque, New Mexico. All right, I'll see you next time. And remember, only you can make it happen. See ya.